Hello and welcome. So you've come here to see how to register in the My Open Math website. My Open Math is a free resource. It is a computerized learning system that houses an instructional website plus it has a free math online math um, homework system. So that's the basics of what we're going to see here and you need to register. It's a first time entrance and you register only once and then after you've registered then you enter into the website just by putting in your username and password. But before we get started with all that we need three things. We need a good student email address. The My Open Math system will send emails to the student so the email ad address needs to be a good reliable uh, address. We also need a course ID and an enrollment key. These things come from the instructor. Each, each semester, the, and even depending on the class, the course ID will change. So you want to get that through the, the syllabus or through the welcome letter or some kind of communication from me. Um, I'll be sending them out in the welcome letter for sure. And then lastly, you need the website, www.myopenmath.com, all one word. Okay, so now that we're kind of set up for that, let's see how it works. Okay. Right over here, we're going to click on register as a new student. And I'm going to create a username. And I'm just going to use like my first dot last to create my student account. And I'm going to create a password. But wait, it says the username has already been taken. Try another one. So if you have a really common use, uh, name like John Smith or something, you may have to add some extra identifiers in there like numbers or something like that. So scott.student1 and then put in the password, confirm the password, and then enter the name. For my roster in the mom program it's really great if you use capital for the first letter and the same on the last name, capital for the first letter and now the email address. Uh, new messages, that's a good thing to have. I'm 13 years old or older. I've never had students before that were younger than 13 years old. And I think if we do not check that box, things may not work too well. So if I ever have a class like pre-algebra where I've got younger students, mom and dad, you're going to have to click that in behalf of your student to get them to register. And I've read the terms and agreements, so that's up to you. I'll let you click that to explore those. Now the course ID. For instructive purposes here, I'm going to put in this number. And the enrollment key, that's all you need to do to register. So let's click sign up. Here's your option to memorize your password if you like. At this stage, it shows that we are officially registered into the mom website. Now the next thing is to enroll in our class. So we'll click here, put in the, um, the course ID again, and the enrollment key, sign up, <clears throat> and it tells us we're confirmed we've been enrolled in the course. Let's go to the main page, and it shows Algebra 1, HCS 2324 is um, officially our class now. Now, when we reach the enrollment date in August, you'll actually see the website of the course. And I can show you what that looks like, but that's all you need to do to register. And just for the sake of closure, let's see what the course looks like. Here's the basic look of the website. You can see over here on the left side is some navigation plus the similar navigation on the top. And if this, if you scroll through, you can see the organization of the content. And so that's the, the basic features. Though I'll be taking the students through some of the basic navigation and how the layout works on the first day of class. But there we go, that's what is needed to register, and that's a quick peek into the website. Anyways, I hope that was helpful, and that you can register successfully. Take care, I'll see you soon.